Welcome to Tenant Screening System Walkthrough. We're going to guide you through the main functions of the dashboard, show you how to add an application from start to finish, and highlight some key features that will make screening tenants much easier for you. Enter your details and complete the capture security question to create your account. This will automatically take you to your dashboard. When logging in, if you have forgotten your password, click the forgotten password link, which will send a new password to your email address. Once you've created your account or logged in, you'll be taken to the dashboard. For speed, the most commonly used functions are at the top of the page so you can create a new application, add a new property to the property management database, upload files such as tenancy agreement to the document library, or simply update your details. Below is the icons and statuses section, which is a reference for what each icon means when associated to an application. The E represents the credit report from Equifax, the pound symbol represents the employment reference, the house represents the landlord reference, the folder represents the document library, and finally the handcuffs represents the DBS check on the tenant. A DBS check was previously known as a CRB check. If a disclosure and barring services product has been selected to check if a tenant has any unspent convictions, the only icon that will appear will be the handcuffs for the product and the folder for the document library. For simplicity, we use a traffic light system for the icons. If the icon is green, the relevant response has been returned as positive and approved. Amber means the response has been returned and is currently under review, and red shows there has been a negative response and you will be advised in the final report. Until a response is received, these icons will remain greyed out. Below this is a very handy search applications tool. You can quickly search your entire database for specific tenants or see properties at a glance. The next three sections show the life cycle of the application from start to finish. Unfinished applications shows all applications that have either been started and not completed, sent to the tenant to complete and still awaiting a response, or completed by the tenant and yet to be confirmed by yourselves. Once a tenant has completed an application, you'll be notified by email so you can review the details before confirming and beginning the screening process. Currently processing applications shows all applications that have been confirmed but still awaiting a response from referees. You can see the progress of your applications without having to click into them directly due to the highlighted icons. For two weeks, all completed applications will show in the recently completed applications section. If you want to see older applications, click the view archive button. At the foot of the dashboard is the property management section. Here you can add, edit or delete any property details you've previously added manually or added automatically from previous applications. All information here is retrievable for relisting a property in future at a click of a button. We're now going to walk you through our most popular product, the full tenant profile, to show you how simple it is to do one of the most comprehensive screenings on the market. Details regarding all of our products are on the website. Firstly, click New Application at the top of the dashboard to open the products page. Select your chosen option and you'll be taken to the Properties Details screen. Here you can either select an existing property or enter a brand new one. If you choose a new property, you will need to enter if it's a house, flat, apartment, HMO or other. If you select HMO, a new field will appear asking for either a room, number or name. Then enter the address monthly rent value, deposit amount, how many bedrooms the property has, the tenant's expected move-in date, the tenant's tenancy end date, and whether bills are included or excluded in the monthly rental fee. Next, you have four choices. Save and send the application to the tenant, quit to dashboard without saving, save progress, then dashboard, which will save the property details but will not proceed the application, and save and continue, which would save your current progress and allows you to complete the application for the tenant manually, this requires you to enter personal and referee details. The save and send to tenant will save you the most time as you only need to enter the name, email address and their share of the rent to let the prospective tenant fill in the rest. You will receive a confirmation pop-up that the email has sent successfully and you'll be notified by the system once the tenant has completed the application and is ready for you to review. Now the application has been sent, you can view it in the Unfinished Applications section. When you have received an email confirming the application has been completed, select the Completed Application button, which will show you an overview of all the details the applicant has entered. If you decide not to go ahead with the application, click the Delete Application button. 
At the foot of the dashboard within the property management section, the address will now appear. We have clicked the complete application link, so we are now taken to the tenant information screen. As you can see, this screen displays all of the details provided by the prospective tenant for you to review and decide if you wish to go ahead with the screening application before you make the payment. This is one area where tenant screening differs from other screening services as they will require you to provide contact details for the tenant and make payment at that point so you will never see this information. The only time you'll see any information regarding the tenant will be in the completed report. So if a prospective tenant has declared a CCJ or simply can't meet the affordability, you will have already paid for an application that was effectively a fail from the beginning. The first section displays the original property details. The second section is the tenant's personal information. It's important that you review the details here as the tenant may have entered a previous county court judgment, bankruptcy or voluntary arrangement information. Understandably, if they do enter any adverse history, you may decide not to proceed with the application. If we find any of these negative factors during screening which were not disclosed, it is highly likely that the applicant would be rejected. The next section shows the current and previous addresses of the applicant, followed by the employment and landlord referee details. There is an editable comments section at the bottom that will show any notes the tenant has added, or you can populate with any details you want us to see before confirming the application. The last step is to agree to the terms and conditions by ticking the box and finally click on the confirm application button, which will take you to the payment portal. Going back to the dashboard, you will see that the application has been confirmed. It has moved to the currently processing application section with its relevant icons showing. Click on the icons to see more details. They are currently greyed out to show references have not been returned, so they will change colour to indicate when they have. Clicking on the E icon will provide you with all the details returned from the tenant's Equifax credit report. This will include residency verification, including adverse history, identity verification, and any alerts that may have been triggered in the tenant's history. Finally, a credit score will also be supplied for the tenant. Clicking on the employment reference icon shows you all of the information that has been returned by the employer and a verified salary. Here, there is a section for you to upload documents. In some cases where individuals are self-employed with no accountant, in receipt of benefits or receive a pension, we will require bank statements or statements from an official body to confirm what they are entitled to. Clicking on the house icon, as with the employment reference, you will be able to view all of the information returned by the landlord where available. Again, there is the option to upload relevant documents. Once all references have been returned, Tenant Screening will review the information, make a suitability recommendation regarding the prospective tenant, and send you a final report with all of our findings via email. The application will then move into the recently completed application section, where the result is shown along the options to view the application with any notes or resend the final report to your email address. The application has now been completed, and typically your part in this takes around three to four minutes. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this demonstration informative. Remember, we are always available to answer any questions you may have regarding your screening requirements. Click the Register Now link to start screening your tenants.